we are engaged in the adjacent businesses of developing aerotro policies and creating localized community based economic centers we continue to grow as builders of india infrastructures winning some of the largest road contracts in the nation and growing our all that is substantial market share in businesses such as a ports logistics transmission and distribution city gas and pipe natural gas our successful ipo of adani wilmar makes us the largest fmcg company in the country and following the acquisition of halsey assets in india that include two of the most recognized brand names across the country acc and ambuja cements we are now the second largest cement manufacturers in india this is a classic example of our adjacency based business model at work in addition we have also made entries in sectors ranging from data center digital super apps and industrial clouds to defense and aerospace metals and materials all align with the government's vision of an atmanirbhar bharat our combined group market capitalization this year exceeded 200 billion us dollar we are able to raise billions of dollar from the international markets a direct validation of confidence in the india and adani growth story our growth and success have been recognized around the world several foreign governments are now approaching us to work in their geographies and help build their infrastructures therefore in 2022 we also laid the foundation to seek a broader expansion beyond india's boundaries our rising market capitalization has been supported by a robust and a sustained growth in our cash flows our focus on operational excellence across our portfolio and the accretive capacity addition delivered an ebitda growth of 26% portfolio ebitda stood at indian rupees 42623 crores this diversified growth in fy 2022 was reflected across our range of businesses our utility portfolio grew by 26% our transport and logistic portfolio grew by 19% our fmcg portfolio grew by 34% and adani enterprise our incubator business grew by 45% in 
AEL's unique business model has no parallel and we intend to leverage this further. The high growth of AEL provides the group with a reliable foundation for the continued development of new businesses for yet another big decade. While we may look back and feel content, it is only now that we are gathering real momentum. What we have been able to achieve in two decades is become India's largest integrated infrastructure business based on a rapid extension into our adjacent businesses. This has resulted in our transformations into an integrated platform of platforms that combines an energy platform with a logistics platform, both of which help us with unprecedented access to the Indian consumer. I today know of no company that has such a unique business model with potential access to an unlimited B2B and B2C market for the next several decades. Dear shareholders, I am an incurable optimist. I always believed India is one of the greatest country for an entrepreneur to learn, develop and flourish. Today, I see real drive in the youth to reclaim our economic stature and gain back our position as a primary force in a global affairs. Like I have said in the past, the largest middle class that will ever exist will be Indian. This will be augmented by an increase in the working age and consuming population share that will stay globally unmatched for several decades. All of this will have a significant positive impact on India's economic growth and be an outcome of our demographic dividend. A crucial piece of this jigsaw will be a better trained, better educated, healthier and technologically nimble workforce and a belief that they can achieve their aspiration and improve their quality of life. I have no doubt we will see this unfold over the next decade. It is here that I want to take a moment to reflect on 2022 as a year with a special personal meaning. It represents the 100th birth anniversary of my inspiring and role model father, Sri Shantilal Adani, and also 
my 60th birthday. To mark this milestone, the Adani family came together and decided to contribute rupees 60,000 crores towards charitable activities related to healthcare, education, and skill development, focusing especially on our rural India. These three areas should be seen holistically rather than separately as they collectively form the drivers for an equitable and future ready India. We have, we have an opportunity in India to lift tens of millions of people permanently out of poverty. We owe it not only to ourselves, but also to our country. Our experience in large project planning and executions and the learning from the ongoing work done by the Adani Foundations will help us uniquely accelerate and implement these programs across the segments of the societies that need them the most. My optimisms about our nation has never been higher. Optimism comes from resilience. Resilience comes from belief. And belief is optimism. In our case, it is the resilience that India demonstrates. It is the optimism I see in the eyes of our people and it is the belief in the India growth story that keeps the Adani group going.